to share it with you because it's probably like the most perfect book for me and Team Sparkle. Angela Dietrich-Lazy, she sent me this book. She is the author of Just Add Glitter and Teachers. If you don't love glitter, this is not for you. But <laughs> I happen to be a huge glitter fan, especially this time of year, because it really adds just a little extra sparkle to all of those special holiday projects. But this is just the cutest book. I want to show you inside it. And then I have a project that I want to show you um, that's really simple and kind of perfect for the holidays. But look at the illustrations in this beautiful book. Um, it's kind of photographs and cutouts, and then you can see the little specks of real glitter um, photographed in the book. So this type of book is just uh, one of those perfect books that you can introduce to your students during the holidays, especially if you're not that interested in teaching holiday projects, but that you want something that is a little bit special. So I came up with a project for this book and it's based on just add glitter. It's like adding that little touch of glitter that is just so special. And I made these little birds and I have a couple of them here. So a really simple, like really tiny piece of paper, which helps um, get the project done really quickly because if it's a big piece of paper, it's a lot more glitter. Um, with just a few little decorative touches to the bird and then the kids can add their own uh, little spot of glitter. So here I put it in a crown and then here I used glitter that's on glitter paper and quite honestly I found this collection of glitter paper at the drugstore. Um, you get a pad of paper, it's really inexpensive, but you can add like a little glitter wing, you could add a glitter you know, beak, it's kind of whatever you want. So here's what we're gonna do. Just take any kind of cardstock and uh, you can use cardstock, cut it in half, small pieces of paper. You can use scraps from your uh, scrap supply box or any kind of sulfate paper. Pick some bright colors. And now if you want to make it a little bit more holiday theme, you can use red or green or white. I'm choosing to make it non-holiday, but adding that little extra glitter. So take this and then find a complementary color or a color that will allow the body of the bird to stand out. Now all I'm doing, I wonder if I have a pencil here. I don't, but I have a, I have a crayon here. So I'm gonna grab my crayon and I want you to just create some type of body. Now I think I'll make my bird go this way. So maybe I'll make a body, a head first. So just like a, a curve line and something really simple that has a tail, so a flat part of the body, a tail, and then let's go around and make a big belly. And here's the tail there. Now, if a child is doing this and they're not really loving what they're drawing, just tell them to keep going over their drawing until they do have a shape that they love. Maybe that belly is too big. Maybe the back's too curved. So they can keep adjusting it. And then when they find the shape that they like, grab some scissors and cut out the part that you like the most. Now you don't worry about the crayons because we're gonna turn this bird over so it'll face the other direction, but you won't see all of the crayon marks. So here we go. Believe it or not, we're almost done. So just flip this over. I'm gonna glue it right down now. Now you can either use a glue like this or a glue stick, whatever you want. I'm using cardstock and this really holds up well to white school glue, so that's what I'm using. Now I'm gonna put it right on my background sheet of paper and I'm gonna grab some type of color for my beak. Now it does not have to be orange, but it seems like a good color. So I'm gonna just make a beak, just a little triangle, make it big or small. Now I'm gonna use a glue stick because because it's a small beak, <laughs> I might just get over flooded with, with glue. Okay, perfect. Now, just so we know what's going on, I'm going to take my marker and just get the eye in there, just like that. And then I'm going to add legs. So basically, the legs, put them in any direction you want. Add two little lines and three little short lines for the feet. So already, he's perfectly cute, but we want to add a little glitter because he's going to be a little bit more special. Now, like I mentioned before, you could cut out a shape 
and add the glitter on it. You could add a, um, a little wing, and I think that's what I'll do for this project, just so you can see. I'm gonna take this green, which is kind of cool, turn it around, and just create kind of like a leaf shape or whatever. Actually, I'm gonna make it more of a wing shape. This looks like a leaf, see? It's really an easy shape to do. But now I'm gonna just cut around this wing shape. And here's a tip for teachers. When you're giving children um, these little pieces of glitter paper, cut them up into small sheets of paper because they'll always cut their uh, little shape in the middle of the paper. And if you don't want them to waste all of that good glitter paper, just give them a little tiny piece and it'll help save it. Okay, so I have my little wing, it's very cute. I'm gonna use this glue stick and just go around here and then just add it. And you know, really, you're kind of done, but I'm gonna take some, a, like a paint marker or a crayon, and I'm gonna make some lines here. Paint markers are really cool because they can go over a lot of different surfaces. So if you wanted to draw some extra lines on your glitter paper, I tell you, these paint markers are just the trick. Okay, I think I'll add a few other little decorative details. And that's it. So I'm just adding a touch of glitter. Now, I do want to show you how you can glue glitter on just in case if you don't have this glitter. So take some white school glue. And I'm just going to do, I'm going to do the beak. So I'm going to take this beak and I'm going to cover it with glue. Now, I'm going to grab a paintbrush because already it's just super messy. I'm just going to paint the glue wherever I want the glitter to go. Then I'm going to take some glitter, and this is pink, and I'm going to shake it, shake it, shake it just over top. Then all you have to do is tap, 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 and then anything extra, well, put it in the garbage. I'm putting it on my art table, and then I'm just going to kind of push that away and look. Oh, I like that. See? Now it has a little pink nose. So this little project um, is just super fun to do, very quick. It'll, it only took me about 10 minutes, but it's definitely um, a perfect accompaniment to this book. So I hope you try it.